that revival without preaching the word. Come on, Amen. 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 And getting God. direction from the Lord. Hallelujah. That's what we come here for, to hear the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. And it will guide us and lead us. And Amen. Instruct Amen. us. Hallelujah. To be ready for Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I, I want Brother Trey Stanley to come and minister to us this, this evening. Amen. Brother Trey has been a, a faithful servant to this church and just about everything that we can find for him to do. You know, Sister Michelle, they just do whatever. Even I see Sister Michelle even trying to learn things that she hadn't done before. Amen. It's, a, it's an awesome thing when you fall in with love with God. You just don't know what you might do. Amen. Praise <laughs> the Lord. Amen. So we're thankful today. You, you, you ready to take us higher, brother? I'm ready. You ready? Amen. All right, come on and preach to us. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's go ahead and give that to God tonight, church. Oh, I think we can do better than that. Come on, man. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, for this service, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that we're able to come into your house tonight. Oh, what a privilege it is, Lord God, to be in your church, Lord Jesus. Oh, what a privilege it is to be up breathing air today. Oh, what a privilege it is to be able to walk into this place today and not be today, Lord God. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, I'm so thankful to be here tonight. Thankful to be among the saints of God tonight. Yes, amen. God has been good to me. Amen. He has blessed me mightily. He has been with me. He's been showing me things. Beautiful. Thank you. And he just keeps amazing me. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, Sister Jamel, as she was leading worship, that song. Oh, I want to see him. Yeah. Amen. 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 To look upon his face. Oh, Jesus. There to sing forever of Amen. his saving grace. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What's the next line? On the streets of glory. I can just yes. picture myself there now. On the streets of glory. Hallelujah. Let me lift my voice. Ooh, yeah. Yes. Woo. Cares. Oh, baby, Jesus. I'll pass. Baby, Jesus. Amen. Home. Baby, Jesus. At last. Yes. Amen. How many of you know when you go on vacation and you got to go down there to that motel and sleep on that bed that just ain't got the it ain't got the hole in the right place. <laughs> the pillow don't feel right. Come on. And you gotta lay in that thing a couple days and and then you get back home and you open that door back at home and it's just so nice to be home. Yeah. Come on. I can only imagine what it's gonna be like when we're finally home. When we're finally made yeah. whole. Yeah. When we're finally free. Yeah. When we don't have any aches and pains and the cares of the world yeah. are fleeting. Memory, and we may not even have that. Come on. Thank you, Jesus, for what you've done. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. I'm thankful tonight for my pastor. Yes, I'm thankful amen. tonight for everything that this man of God has done. Hallelujah. I thank him for, the, for leading this church and taking us to new places yes, in amen. God and, and showing me things. And I'm learning. Praise. Pastor, I'm learning by example. I hope one day that I can just pray like you do. <laughs> I hope one day I can walk like you do. I hope one day I can be as hungry as you are and knock as many doors as you knock. I pray he's such an, a great example yes. of what it means to be Amen. a man of God. Hallelujah. I thank God for this church tonight. I thank God for my wife. Amen. Amen. I'm thankful Amen. for what God's doing here in this end times. Yes. Amen. If you will, turn with me tonight to 1 Corinthians. It's been a while since I've been up here. Uh, to preach, you know, we had the COVID thing, and and then December, we were fortunate enough to have Brother Ridge come and preach many times, and just thankful to be able to get fed like he was able yeah. to, to preach Amen. to us Amen. during that time. Amen. Revival is still happening yeah. here. Amen. Yeah. Revival is still going on in Amen. our lives and, and, and in our homes. First Corinthians 13, 1 and 2. With the help of the Lord tonight, I hope I can... Get this 
get this across tonight. Lord, help me in Jesus' mighty name. Pastor, I'm going to go ahead and ask you to pray right now in Jesus' name. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray to you, Lord. Lord, I'm asking you, Lord God, just anoint your servant tonight. I'm asking you, Lord God, let the word of God be quick and powerful. Hallelujah. Let it move through his soul, Lord, and speak to us, Lord God. Direct yes, God's Lord lift God. tonight, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Strengthen us, encourage us, give us direction. I pray, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, you wouldn't stumble over one word, but you would help us, Lord. To glorify you. Yes, Lord. And we give you all the praise, Lord God, as we are, we want the people we want to yes. receive. Yes. What you have for us tonight, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I'm actually going to start at uh, 1 Corinthians 12, 31. But covet earnestly the best gifts, and yet show I unto you a more excellent way. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. I am nothing. Amen. I can have all these things. I can have all the gifts. Yeah. But if I don't have charity, yeah. I don't have anything. Amen. Tonight, with the help of the Lord, I'm going to be preaching on the fabric of charity. Amen. The fabric of charity. Amen. You may have your seat. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. In, in, this, in these scriptures we just read, Paul is writing to the church of Corinth. And Paul is highlighting the atmosphere in which spiritual gifts need to move in the church. He's talking to a church. Just like we're in tonight. And he's talking to them and he's saying that the atmosphere in this has got to be right. The atmosphere has got to flow through charity. Amen. The atmosphere has got to be love. Amen. The atmosphere has got to be first and foremost there before we can get any of this other stuff right. Amen. Yes, amen. It's the fabric of who we are as followers of Christ. Yes. It's the fabric of who we are. As we're going forth and sharing God's word with others. Amen. It's charity. So this, this chapter is actually sandwiched between uh, two extended passages on spiritual gifts. Chapter 12 is about gifts of the spirit. Chapter 14 is talking about tongues, uh, prophecy, and all these things. It's sandwiched right between this, and it's no mistake. Amen. The Lord's trying to tell us something. Yes. Amen. We got to have charity, church. Amen. It's not by mistake that it's put there. 13 2, reading again. And though I have the gift of prophecy, and I understand all mysteries and all knowledge, that's a lot. All knowledge. And though I have all faith, I can have all the faith in the world. I believe God can do it. Amen. I've got all the prophecies, I've got all the knowledge. I'm just as smart as I, uh, Solomon was, well, almost as smart. Right? But if I don't have charity, I don't have anything. I've got faith to move mountains. I've got faith to get it done. I believe God for it. But if I have not charity, I have nothing. Amen. Bear with me. Praise God. I have not anything. So what is charity tonight? What are we talking about? There's charities that we all know of that you give money to and, and that they send you the stuff in the mail that, hey, there's some, there's some puppies on the front of it. You know, you need to give to this charity. You need to give to that charity. You need to give food to, to this, this food house and all this kind of stuff. But charity is much more than giving money. Amen. In fact, all the newer translations in these scriptures have a different word for charity. Let's take a look at what it is. We're going to go to the NIV version, which, uh, so verse 13 and 4 in the NIV, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with truth. 
They take completely out the word charity and just throw love in there. And that's the NIV amplified. All these other, all these other ones do the same thing. But charity, like I say, is much more than love. Love is often seen as an, as an emotion. Love is often seen as something that we choose, you know, to do. But, you, you know, people fall out of love just as easy as they fall in love nowadays. Come on. And how perverted is the word love anyway nowadays? Love is what? Love? Come on now. Love is love. People, people of same sex getting married because love is love. Falling into it. love, the word, very word has been so perverted yes. in today's society. Satan, it's just like Satan. He wants to take anything and just twist it. Yes. Come on. Anything that's good and of God, he just yes. wants to twist it. Yes. Amen. Love is love. It takes the rainbow completely out of uh, context and uses it. Yes. But love that doesn't give isn't real love. That's what charity really is. It's, it's sacrificial giving. Yes. It's sacrificial giving. For all the people, married folks in here tonight, we know that, that, that marriage is a give and take thing. Right. That Amen. marriage is something that you're going to give to. Right. That you're going to have to take from. It, it's, it's a lot of give and take in marriage. Amen. We know that as, as the longer you get married, you know, you, you got to give a little and, and, and get a little. And then sometimes you just got to give up a little. You know, and just go along to get it. But it's not going to work if you're not willing to, to give some. Come on. Right. Charity is sacrificial giving, which is real love. It's going to cost you something. Amen. Amen. It's going to cost you. We are going to have to give something sacrificially. And when you talk about human love, charity is the best word to use. Charity is giving. It's a handout. In charity, you give. Love is giving. Come on. John 3 16. We all know. For God so loved the world that he what? Yeah. Gave. That he gave. Mm -hmm. Jesus dying on the cross is the ultimate symbol of sacrificial love. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. Even through all my mess, looking down through time, looking at me and all my stuff and, and, and loving me enough. Yes. And even now, dealing with me and all my stuff. And all my little things that I get concerned with. And all the little things that can just throw me off on in a daily basis. Right. That just can take away my prayer life. That just can zap me of everything wanting to do with God. He still looks down and loves me. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's love. It's real love. It's something that the world doesn't know anything about. It's, it's, it's not from the world. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Jesus dying for my sins still loves me. Romans 13 and 14. Let's go there. I'm not going to be long tonight, y'all. I promise you. It's just something we got to get. It's just something that was laid on my heart. It's something that is a must for us. 13 and 14. But put ye on. The Lord Jesus Christ. And make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Key words here, put on. You got him in you. You got to get him on you. Yeah. Now make sure you put him on every day so others can see him Amen. in you. Amen. That's right. What was the old song we used to sing as children? You know, don't hide it under a bush. Uh -huh. uh, you know, you don't want to hide this thing that you've got. Right. We've Amen. got to be out there. We've got to be showing others yeah. the love of Jesus Christ. Amen. How else are they going to see? How else are they going to know? Oh, thank you, Jesus. God is love. You know, this. a lot of this came to fruition from some, some talking that I had with Brother Rhodes the other day. And it just got me thinking about love, brother. And we just went back and forth and texted talking about the love of God. And he sent a scripture. Let's go to Luke 6.35. Luke 6.35. But love ye your enemies. That's tough. And do good and lend. Hoping for nothing again. 
And your reward shall be great, and ye shall be the children of the highest. For he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. But well, let's get that per part right before that. He is kind unto the unthankful. There's people in our life that are going to be completely unthankful of everything that we try to do for them. There's going to be people in our lives that are just going to be unthankful, completely oblivious. They're not going to be thankful for what we're doing. They're not going to be thankful for what we're trying to show them. They're, 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 they're not going to want anything to do with it, and they're not going to be unthankful. But we got to love them through it. Come on. That's right. That's right. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. He's still kind. And that means we've got to be still kind. Amen. That's all right. Amen. This is something we've got to put on, guys. Amen. It's something we've got to put on. Love your enemies. How hard is that? Amen. But it's something that we're told to do. Yeah. That we've got to do. Amen. The unthankful thing, that just gets me. How am I supposed to do that? How am I supposed to do that? How am I supposed to love my enemies? We've got to put on Christ. Yeah. Amen. That's right. Watch this. Let's go to 1 Peter 4. I know this is nothing wowing or amazing but this is truth right here this is bible first peter 4 7 and 8 but the end of all things is at hand be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer and above all things everybody say above all things, above all things. have fervent charity amongst yourselves for charity shall cover the multitude of sins <laughs> Peter is saying right here, above all things. That's pretty strong. Yeah. Once more, we got to get back to the place where we realize how important charity is. Yeah. How important this kind of sacrificial love is to everybody we come in contact with. Yeah. It's sacrificial love. It's not of this world. It's something that we're going to have to put on, church. Yeah. We, need, we, need, we need to get this. Let's go to Colossians 3, 14. Colossians. Colossians 3, 14. And of course, this is Paul now. That was Peter we just read. And above all, everybody say above all. Above all. These things put on charity, which is the bond of perfection. Put on charity. Once again, we find these words put on. Put on Christ. Put on charity, which is love. God is love. Real love. A fabric is, is something that's worn. It's, it's, it's woven. It's intermingled. And it's just like charity. It's something that's got to be in our DNA. It's got to be something that we show no matter how we feel. It's got to be something we show no matter how tired we are. It's got to be something we show when we're at the post office or, or when we're, I don't know, doing something, fishing or something. I, I don't know. It's, it's got to be in everything that we're doing. Yeah. It's just showing love. Yeah. They're not going to see it if we don't do it. That's right. It's what the world has got to see in us. Yeah. They, they, they can see from the onset. They can see that we're dressed modestly. They can see that we're covered up. They can see that we, we were, you know, cleaned up and, and, and right and, and looked apart and everything. But if they can't see the love of God in us, Come on. Yeah. Amen. then we're missing Come on. the boat. Right. Amen. Why would you want to be a part of just some buddy duddy group that ain't got love? Why would you want to sign up for that? Yeah. The world's got to be able to see this love in us. It's a sacrificial love. It's loving when it's the hard thing to do. Yeah, that's right. It's making the call to the person when it's the hard time. Amen. It's going ahead and doing a Bible study with someone when you're wore out. Amen. It's spreading this word. Amen. Because it's love. Jesus. Amen. And treating people right. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you, Jesus. But Paul tells us to put on charity. Charity which is real love. It's got to be visible to the world. It's got to be visible. It's got to be there. Just like an article of clothing, the fabric 
of charity has got to be visible to them. They got to see it. The fabric of charity is the first thing the lost are going to see that is Christ like. Amen. Amen. It's the it's the love of God. Yeah. I remember when Pastor started coming around, and he and he's showing up. And he wasn't just like another pastor that I met in other churches coming by and doing things at, at my shop and, and, and doing different things and just saying, oh, yeah, I'm a pastor down here at some time. This man just kept showing up. He goes to work, John Deere, work a 10-hour day down there. And what does he do? He don't just head straight home so he can get, uh, get a meal and lay down and rest his feet. He comes by, comes by and sees me. I don't know how many times you came by my shop. I mean, but at one point, it just clicked. This is not a normal kind of thing. Amen. This is not normal. This is not what somebody just does because they want to do it. Right. This is a supernatural kind of love that was being shown to me. Amen. And it's what got my attention. Amen. It's what got my attention to start listening to some other things he was saying. I saw the love of God in him first. Amen. I saw the love of God in him first. And that's what made me say, man, there's something about this guy. What is it about this man? Right. It's got to be the love of God because it was so supernatural. It was so foreign to anything I'd ever come across in my life. It almost seemed weird. <laughs> I mean, just being honest, Pastor. <laughs> because it was so foreign. How could somebody love me like that and not know me? But he really cared about my soul. Yes. Amen. I thank God for the days. Amen. I thank God that we can look back at that and see what God did and testify. Hallelujah. That's real love. Amen. Mm. It, 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 it's reaching out to help somebody. Yes. It's being sensitive to needs in the church and in your family and on your job. It's being sensitive to these things. Yeah. And when somebody's hurting and you see an in route, go in there, ask them, talk to them. Yeah. Pray for them. Do whatever you got to do to get in front of them to show them that you love them. Amen. Yeah. I know in this world, you know, the, the word love is thrown about so much, but they'll see the love. Amen. Amen. They'll see it. They got to see the sacrificial love. That's right. Be approachable. Going back to. Colossians 13. No, I'm sorry. Is that where I'm at? <laughs> I don't know where I'm at. Corinthians. First Corinthians 13. I'm going to do a little reading. Two. And though I have the gift of prophecies and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself. It is not puffed up. Doth not behave itself unseemly, seeking not her own. It's not easily provoked, thinking no evil. Rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. I'm skipping down to verse 13. And now abideth in faith, hope, and charity. These three, but the greatest of these is charity. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> the love which God gives to us. Is different from a gift like faith. Faith is a gift that varies in amount. The Bible says in Romans 5, 5, but the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts. Amen. It just goes on. The love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given to us. He gives us his love. This next part is what, as I'm studying, really got me, though. And you love according as you yield yourself unto God to love through you. I don't know how many of you got that. You love others according as you yield yourself unto God to love through you. 
Amen. This was a gut check for me recently. God's love is supernatural. Amen. It's not normal to the world because it's pure love. Amen. They don't know anything about it. Amen. You love according to how you yield to the Holy Ghost. If I'm not yielded to the Holy Ghost, if I'm not praying right, if I'm not doing what I need to do, to be in sync with God, I'm not going to love others correctly. That's right. I'm not going to be able to love them. That's right. I'm not going to be able to, to have that supernatural love for them to do what I need to be doing Amen. if I'm not in sync with God. Amen. Amen. Yield to the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yield means several different things, but one one definition is to relinquish possession. Every day I got to relinquish possession of myself to God. I got to let him use me. Yeah. I got to let him love through me. Yeah. I'm not any good on my own without him. The sacrificial love of God is what people need to see in this world. 1 John 4. First John 4. Seven through eleven. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. In this was manifested the love of God toward us, because that God sent. His only begotten Son into the world that we might live through Him. Herein is love, not that we love God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. Amen. Amen. And if the church does not put on the fabric of charity, we're missing this whole thing. We're missing the whole thing. I told you I wasn't going to be long tonight. If you would, please stand. I know sometimes it's the hard thing to love some people. To love them through their situation. And sometimes it's so easy to get wrapped up in what we see, what we're having to go through. Amen. But we got to love these people. Amen. Amen. We got to love them. We got to show them the love of God. Amen. If anybody needs to come forward to this altar right now and just go ahead and get your heart right with some things. If anybody needs to come forward right now that needs to just go ahead and relinquish some things to God, some situations, some people that have been frustrating in your life lately, that maybe you've had a little, little trouble dealing with. We need to just ask him right now to change our hearts. Change the situation. Help us with this person, Lord God. We need you, Jesus. We need you, Jesus. Change me, Lord. Change me, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you.